This video is for Ryuk. This is their Patreon request for checking out the song Bite the Second Hand by the band Zutumayo. I'm excited. Let's go. Nice bass. Yeah, that's cool, Larry, and I can see why it's so popular. Uh, the groove, the little motif we're getting in the piano at the beginning. Uh, I like that long, that little tenuto note there. That's a nice little characteristic, and everyone else layers on top. We get, you know, uh, we get bass comes in, great tone, guitar layers, and we have two variants of guitar, then obviously drums comes in and gives us a nice little groove. So it's set up beautifully. Let's go back five and see where else we go. Oh, cool. Right away, I already liked the verse because we the, the motif was cool. The ostinato, that repeated rhythm, that was cool. We entered the piano voice introduces it. You get in a groove right away, but suddenly one and two and becomes our new focus. And I like that. And the chord progression just has a variation in it. So already cool. I like thematic development, and I don't like I don't really like hearing the same thing for too long. There needs to be like a tale that's being told here, and we're getting that. Now, obviously, you know me. If you if you're new to the channel, the voice, I hear it. But I'm always listening down to the instrumental layers because that's that's what brings me joy. Back five. Mm. Oh, cool. That's a great little addition. So on the second side of the verse here, we get all these little keys, these little additions in the keyboard. It's real nice. We're going back 10 for that. Here it is. Pretty aggressive too. Back at the goodbye. It's almost like it, the articulations are super. Uh, it's mixed way down, but the some of those dynamics are extreme when they actually were played. So it's a very, very aggressive sound. Okay, back five. We'll, I promise I won't stop. Here we go. We have to talk about the transfer of energy there. So that piano line is still pretty crowded. There's a lot going on. But now we got the wah guitar in the left-hand side and the headset. That is real nice. This is funky. All the while, you can install foundations for the voice, obviously. But there's just a lot of ingredients underneath. It's crowded, but it's working, though. Back five. Yeah, the chorus is cool. It's, it sounds poppy, but we have we have little spices and intricacies put in there. Also, man, did you hear the bass player? Bass, okay, this is great. I'm going back about 15. Let's grab let's grab the trans about 20. Let's grab the transition of the chorus again. Just listen down to the bass. <laughs> That little variation in the chord progression, the little deceptive line right there, that, that's why I really like this chorus. Because the chorus otherwise was sounding very traditional in its format, except for that really cool... It's such a 16th note aggressive bass uh, treble line, whether it's uh, synth or piano or a mix of the two. It's, it's a very attractive chorus to listen to. Let's continue on here. <laughs> Back again. Cool. Oh. That was cool. 
Okay, it feels like this time in the verse, obviously the uh, construction of our hits 1 and 2N is the same. I feel like the chord progression of the verse is the same, but we have little additions. Now, I'm not positive because it was like two minutes ago that we were at the verse the first time, but I feel, I don't know if I remember the same type of chunky, uh, light, uh, kind of airy sounding distorted guitar in the left hand side. And I felt like there's a couple like little embellishments with percussion stuff, but I'm not sure. I just might be that I'm noticing this time. Either way, it's very, it's, it's nice to listen to. Back five. <laughs> Nice. I really like the vocal delivery right there. Let's grab that again. Cool. All right. It's, I, I, I don't know too much about this band. We listened to them a couple times on stream. Uh, I feel like maybe we've done one of their songs on the channel. I'm not totally sure. Uh, but one of the characteristics that I really like about what they're doing here is the ability to have so much going on. And the drummer is busy. There's all kinds of syncopation in the groove. It's very groovy. It's not, it's not a pocket groove by any means. And they're still able to design and fit so many like... Singing's going on, all of a sudden there's like and then there's all these like keyboard lines happening and it still works. So like normally I feel like I'd be like, Jesus, there's so much stuff to listen to. Like it's it's too crowded. There's too many ingredients in the sandwich, but it feels good here though. Like I'm still able to hear all the levels. And if I really wanted to focus on the vocal line, it's not overpowered. I just happen to be listening down. That's just I think they do a really good job of that. So kudos to them. Back five, let's keep going. Let's go, dude, man. Four on the floor and the kick drum, bass player gets some love. It's only for four bars. We could have gone a little longer, but it's it's a pop song, though. I get it. The audience would be like, it's too much bass. Go back to the song, the vocals. Let's go back ten and grab the bass again. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty cool. We still we still gave bass some love. They got to keep playing, and they printed those chords in just whole notes, meaning four beats. We're getting chord, two, three, four, chord. Voice comes in, but we still got all this stuff going on, and then we add the guitar with the wah pedal on there. It's super funky, man. It's very, very, that's, that's dance band stuff right there. Let's go back about 15 and just appreciate that second half of this breakdown. That's real nice. <laughs> Obviously, a nice guitar feature there. I like it. A little acoustic feature. How successful of an impact is that, man? You put the kick drum on two and four, you get acoustic guitar, you take away all that distortion, all that like mid range power, and then ch boom. Ch Boom. You get almost like in Brazilian Samba, we, where the, their big bass drums are called, called surdus. And the, the big, I mean, well, they, they have like segundos and primeras, all that stuff too. But anyway, the big focal point, the loudest surdu is on two and four, and it just hits. And uh, we get this in, and of course, we get that re nice gliss on the bass, and it just sounds so good. I think I went back about 10 here to grab this again. <laughs>
was cool. We ended how we started, so it's it's a bookend. But obviously, the dynamic in the end was much more. Um, uh, everything, the impedance was higher. So that was a great song, man. I feel like all the elements are there. It has the characteristics of pop to reach a wide audience, but also the musicians are really good. And if you're, you know, a muso head and you want to sit down and like listen to folks, studio musicians that are doing session work that are doing great things, I feel like this band is delivering on that 100%. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Okay. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Check out the Patreon. Links for both those things down in the video description below. Thank you so much for being here. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the next video. I appreciate you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.